3D TVs are here to stay, or will they go the way of the 8-track cassettes? Consumer Reports has tested nearly every 3D television that's come out, including one of the newest from Vizio that uses lighter, less expensive glasses. Consumer Specialist Rick Romero shows how those new glasses could make the 3D experience far more appealing. The newest 3D technology does use cheaper, more comfortable glasses, which can be a real plus. But we teamed up with Consumer Reports to show you the latest test results on all 3D TVs now on the market. The newest 3D TVs use what's called passive technology, like this LCD set from Vizio. The big advantage? The 3D glasses are lighter, more comfortable, and much less expensive. But Consumer Reports find some drawbacks with the new technology. In the 3D mode, passive TVs can only show half the vertical resolution of a standard 1080p TV. Because there are fewer pixels creating the image, our testers saw jagged lines where there should be smooth ones. In contrast, on this 3D set, looking through the glasses, the lines are smooth. Another issue with the Vizio, moiré interference creates a shimmery effect in certain scenes. But overall, testers were fairly impressed with the Vizio's performance. It's the brightest 3D set they've ever seen and has minimal ghosting, so you won't see double images through the glasses. And the ability to wear lightweight, inexpensive glasses is sure to be a plus for a lot of families. When it comes to active 3D sets that use more expensive, bulkier glasses, testers find big differences between plasmas and LCDs. To evaluate them, engineers create 3D patterns and view the patterns through those glasses. In general, our testers have found that plasma 3D TVs provide the best overall 3D picture quality, primarily because they have less ghosting. In the end, Consumer Reports top rated this Panasonic Viera for $4,300. It delivers a crisp 3D image, but you have to pay for extra glasses at $150 a pair. More comfortable, cheaper 3D glasses are a step in the right direction, but will there ever be 3D TVs that don't require glasses at all? Well, I did see one demonstrated at the Consumer Electronics Show earlier this year. But unfortunately, glasses-free 3D is still a few years away. This is Rick Romero, ABC7 Eyewitness News.